Hi there guys, Zeno here, and welcome to this Zeno Prank production. I've actually managed to wake up a couple of hours before I'd normally start work today. I'm working from home today, so don't have to get set up before about half an hour before I'm due to work. So I thought I'd do this video. I do have with me a nice cup of coffee. So, I suppose this is a time for a cuppa. Mmm. How are you guys doing? Hopefully you are doing really, really well. It's currently coming up for quarter past 8 a.m. on Friday, the 27th of October, 2023. I've already asked you guys, how you going to ask you how you're doing again. Me, I'm doing really, really well, actually. So, managed to find out my wages, the other way slips have popped up online for work. So that means that if you cast your own minds back to a couple months back, because it was now a couple months back, that I mentioned all of this, I'm going to be able to afford some board games. We've got some back pay coming in our pay this month for various reasons. And because of that back pay, um, I started looking at some things to spend it on, as you do. <clears throat> and basically, I found somebody selling a load of board games um, a couple months back. Uh, Bloodborne, The Ever Rain, Bard Sung bunch of bunch of different um board games a couple of them with kickstarter exclusives that aren't sold anywhere else so i messaged him going is there any kind of deal that we could come to basically i'm not going to have the money for a couple of months asking you to hold on to something for a couple of months is a little bit you know unfair so he said put down a deposit on on what I've got, a 10% deposit, and I'll hold on to it for you as long as you want until you got the money. And I thought, fantastic, you can't get fairer than that. As it turned out, when I actually came around to pay for the board games, few of them were other people interested in them. So I said to them, just sell those three board games and I'll buy the rest. So it came out at about a hundred and sorry, five hundred and ten pounds for the board games. Um, that he had, if he were to tot up how much he was selling them for. He then gave me a £60 um, discount for buying them as a bundle. I then paid £45 deposit, bringing it all down to £405, so I'll be paying £405 um, for them. Yes, that sounds like quite a bit of money, but it's also for my birthday um, next month, and I'll be using birthday money to offset um, the cost of those board games but i'm really excited to be able to play them all have a look at them all do something a bit more tangential when it comes to playing things uh, around that time that i was looking for them i was a bit bored of, of video gaming at the time i wanted to find something a little bit different to do so this is the thing i decided upon i've had to wait two months patiently um in order to have the money to be able to buy it all Thank you very much to individual. I don't know if they do watch my videos. I might pop a video a link their way if they wish to watch. Thank you very much to that person for holding on to them for this amount of time. And I'm really looking forward to it. On that note, actually, um, I've joined a couple of Facebook Marketplace board game groups um, in the meantime, just to see what's going on. And somebody the other day posted a Resident Evil 2 board game all in bundle from Kickstarter. Now, the Resident Evil board game games, especially Resident Evil 2, which I think is the first one they did. They did Resident Evil 2, then they did Resident Evil 1, and then they did Resident Evil 3. Something, something like that. They went in a really weird order um, with them. The Resident Evil 1 board game has only just been released, for instance. Um, whereas they started with, I think, yeah, Resident Evil 2 or something. Really weird. But because of that, the mechanics in Resident Evil 2 are not good. Apparently they're really janky, there's a lot of ambiguity. Whereas in the Resident Evil 1 um, set, which is the last set that they've recently released, so it must, have gone, it must have gone 2, 3, then 1, actually. That's the way it went. So they've learnt from releasing uh, box, you know, box 2 and 3, and when they've gone back to Resident Evil 1, or box 1, how when you look at it, um, they've learnt from their mistakes and corrected a lot of the mistakes so resident evil 2 is not a recommendation from a lot of board game youtube reviewers so to speak they said sterile steer clear from it um unless you know about the other two 
boxes and then you can implement those rules into um, box one. So I thought, nah. Anyway, I looked onto their profile. It just so happens they have another all-in bundle <laughs> that they are selling called Deep Madness. Deep Madness was a game that was recently kickstarted, from what I can understand. I'm just trying to look. About four months ago? Oh no, that says four years ago. Don't worry, I, saw, I thought that said, that's a video on one of the expansions that comes with the Kickstarter. All in bundle, I'm watching a review of it at the moment. As you do, as you do. Anyway, we'll take another swig of, swig of cough air. Mm. Frothy, coffee, sugary, nice. <laughs> Where was I? Anyway, where was I? Yeah, so he had, he had this 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 whole bundle, and I messaged him saying, "Is it available?" And normally, when they when you send that, they say yes, and then they leave it at that. He said yes, and a little while later goes, oh, "Are you interested?" And I went, "Yeah, I am." Um, how long have you had it up for? And he goes, "Since Sunday." Today's Friday for context, obviously. So I was like, uh, "Normally, if they've had it up for a while." they're more willing to enter into some kind of deal with you. So that person I've bought all those board games from before, he had them up for quite some time before I came along and was like, yeah, do you want to do this deal? So obviously he was more inclined to do that deal because they've been up for a while and he wanted the board games to go to someone who he knows is going to enjoy them. And because of my exuberance and excitement, then he obviously was like, he's going to enjoy these games. So I'll give them, to, I'll sell them to him sort of thing, if you know what, I'm, <laughs> know what I'm going on about. Anyway, so I was thinking, uh, he's probably not going to accept my offer, my deal, but we'll see where this goes. He then said, I've already had one person offer me, I, I left it at that, when he said, till since Sunday, um, he, he then um, messaged me back, saying what you're offering, kind of thing. And I and I said, um, he then said, come on the exact back and forth of the conversation, that he's already had one person offer 275, 275 pounds for the whole lot, which is 300 pounds for the whole bundle. But that person didn't have the money or decide against it at the last moment. So I then said to him, okay, how about this? How about this for a deal? How about I pay you two months worth of 150 pound? I can't do it to the end of November. And then the end of November, the end of December, so I'll get it for January, for the whole lot for, for January. That's exciting, another two month wait. But in the meantime, I've got some things to tie me over. Uh, those board games and some things to my left um, at the moment. So to speak, yeah, how about that? And I give you a deposit this month, a little deposit just to secure the items. And he said, that's fantastic. As long as you're willing to use PayPal goods and services for the whole lot, for all of the transactions, we're Gucci. So fantastic! I've got another um, another Kickstarter all in bundle coming my way called Deep Madness, which is a underwater horror sci-fi board game, which actually has really good mechanics. The person I'm watching do that review of the expansion, reviewed the core game, and said the mechanics are really good, really easy to understand. So yeah, I'm slowly but surely getting into board games now. It seems it seems that's going to be my new <laughs> my new vice, so to speak. We all have we all have expensive vices sometimes, but it is what it is. Talking about expensive vices, so I have some games, video games this time um, in my hand, and we're going to talk about them. Surprise, surprise on this channel that we talk about video games, video games from time to time. So. Last week, as it was coming up, so this released <laughs> last week. Um, obviously, I've got it in my hand, so I've got it. It released on Friday. And I'll be honest, last week, um, I was getting into a situation where there's going to be too much month left at the end of the money, that whole lovely expression. And I said to my housemate, I said, I'm going to trade in some stuff, enough to get Spider-Man 2, and then enough to get me through to the end of the month. They said, yep, 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 no worries. Have you considered Mario Brothers Wonder? I wonder where this is going. Yeah. So I went down to see it. 
I traded in some stuff, basically. Um, some stuff, to be quite frankly, yes, it's on the more expensive side, some of it that I haven't watched since buying it. Some of it sat around for literally a year, and I thought, stuff it. I'm probably going to get more enjoyment. I get Spider-Man and Mario, so I did so. On the subject of Mario, actually, we'll go on to that in a moment. Um, I then had enough money to get over for the rest of the month, and then I... Had a bit of a voucher left over, £8.50 voucher left over. There was a game, um, you've seen me show off, Deep Speed Heat, which a previous Facebook seller chucked in for free for me when I bought Diablo 4. And with that, I sold that for a voucher as well, £8.50 voucher. I got a Ghostbusters Spirit Unleashed. I'll show you the spine because I've still got the annoying, the annoying sticker over the top of it. Can I remove it on camera? Cleanly, there we go. Oh, not as cleanly as I'd hoped, but you can see the title now. Ghostbusters Spirits are released, released by Ilphonic, that have done a few asymmetrical multiplayer games now. From they've been involved with Friday the 13th, they're involved with Ash, is it Ash versus the Evil Dead multiplayer game, and I think they're also involved with. No, 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 street. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre um, game. So they know what they're doing when it comes to asymmetrical multiplayer games. And if you haven't tell, if you couldn't tell from what I'm saying, it's an asymmetrical multiplayer game based on the Ghostbusters universe. And it's a bunch of fun. I didn't buy this. It's now been out for a year. I didn't buy this when it first came out because a lot of the reviews were saying that its asking price was a bit expensive for what you get for it. But it's now come down in price. Um, obviously, I bought it through CX, but whatever. And it's really fun. It's recently come out with an update called the Ecto Edition that bundles all the DLC, everything together, and it's a bunch of fun, to be honest. So, glad I got that. So, the first thing we got, Spider-Man 2. Now, I'm not that far into the game, I would say. And one of the main aspects of the game is, of course, Venom. And we, if you've seen the trailers... If you've seen all the promotional material, you know that Peter Parker gets conjoined with the symbiote, much like he does in the cartoons and comics and movies and what have you. I haven't gotten to that part yet, so I assume I'm still relatively early in the game. But so far, so good. It's fantastic. Me and Luke have been talking about it over the last... Was it me and Luke? Not me and Luke. Me and a colleague. That's what I was looking for. Me and a colleague having talked about this. And the swinging is just... It's not necessarily a major leap. But they've just added some additional elements to the swinging. That just make it so much more fun. Or the traversal in general. There are no web wings that you can use to glide. Um, some of the animations that either Peter Parker or Miles Morales does. When they're swinging around the city are just fantastic it really is a it's just a an upgrade from from you know the Mars Morales game and then Spider-Man 2018 that came out five years ago now well wow. doesn't feel like that was um five years ago but absolutely bloody fantastic um I must say absolutely fantastic um yeah, <laughs> I can't I can't fault it much more than that. Um, yeah, World Peter Parker's new symbiote abilities and Mars Morales' explosive bioelectric venom powers. Yeah, they've also doubled the size of the map, so that's cool. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And the last thing I was going to talk about today is Mary Brothers Wonder. <coughs> so it's currently Friday, as I've already said a couple of times, and this arrived Wednesday. Absolutely bloody fantastic. Bloody hell. Um, there's a lot of reviewers on YouTube, and just in general, that are saying that this feels like Super Mario World. When I first started playing it, it was good. Don't get me wrong. It, it, it gives a really good first impression. And you can skip the opening cutscene. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I'm so excited 
about that. There are so many games like Mario, which let's be honest, the story doesn't matter. In which you can't skip the opening cutscene. It was even mentioned YouTube that way at the moment. Um, it was even mentioned by one, one of the YouTubers that reviewed it. Um, that they said you can actually skip the opening cutscene where it had to play through the game first. So a lot of previous Mario games, once you play through the game again, which a lot of Mario players, typical Mario players, will play through the games multiple times, you can then skip the opening cutscene once you've already played it once. It, it knows you've done that and allows you to skip it. Where well, that's wonder, you can just skip any cutscene for that matter, whatever you want. So that's that's bloody fantastic. You get into the game pretty quickly, as you do with any Mario game, pretty much. And it is fun, creative, bombastic. It's there are so many WTF moments throughout the game in a good way. Like the main selling point in this game is the wonder flowers or the wonder powers, and they are bombastic sometimes they turn mario or your character because you can just pick from a whole host of different characters from peach to daisy to toad to luigi to whoever you want to pick really to peach they turn your character into another enemy so to speak and gives you other abilities um like you can jump up there was a kind of a mini boss stage that was directly referencing mr driller of all things that was interesting um another wonder element is a direct reference to doodle jump from what i can work out yeah so it's it's they really have thrown a lot at this game it feels to me this is like a last hurrah for the switch for those of you who don't know um nintendo have said that march of next year is when potentially we don't know yet the next switch announcement will be coming out for the switch, new switch the new switch not necessarily the switch the new console i should say to come out for christmas of next year so this really does feel like a, a last hurrah for the switch when it comes to mario games and the bottom word there wonder definitely is you know <laughs> is something i'd say about this game it is a wonder of a game um, and i'm relatively early in it and loving every second of it i'm not normally because there is a bit of freedom on what, what levels you want to play or not play and normally i'm not one to go for the little side levels i should go for the main levels and go all the way through i'm playing everything to be honest apart from some levels i found a little bit too difficult when i've dropped out of them and i'll come back to them later on it's a phenomenal game already so many people are already calling it a masterpiece i can see where they're coming from would i call it a masterpiece maybe not just yet maybe a bit more time with it but it's got badges in it that give you different abilities They've really gone all out um, with this game. They've squeezed all parts of creative juice that they can into it. So there you go, guys. That's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this little Friday video before I start work. Oh, dear. <sighs> yeah, it's like that, Liz. Take another swig of coffee. Well, I hope everybody has a superb weekend. However you spend it, my sister's my sister is coming down. We're having probably a pizza or something from Tesco's. Exciting, I know. And I'm probably going to be playing some Spider-Man 2, Mario Brothers Wonder, Spirits Unleashed, and looking up all these board games I've got coming over the next few months. Until next time, guys, please take care. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Ta-ra.